Take a look at numbers just in on the nursing home section of the state's COVID-19 webpage. It may appear like a major increase in cases at two Miami County nursing homes we've covered for months. But keep in mind, these are total numbers since April 15th that were just updated. Dark County's Greenville Healthcare Nursing Home remains with 23 total resident cases. Now, those numbers come as the I-Team spent the last month trying to understand how they are reported. As you're about to see, we examined nursing and assisted living home numbers that were current on the state's COVID-19 webpage just a few hours ago. Governor DeWine has said it's important information to publish so families can really understand what's happening in those facilities. But the I-Team's Sean Cudahy uncovered how there are more Miami Valley COVID-19 cases and deaths than that webpage shows. Photos of Earl Bollinger sparking memories of the 93-year-old whose battle with COVID-19 along with his son led to Earl being among the first in the Miami Valley to die from the virus in March and the first in a wave of deaths health officials learned about at this Miami County nursing home. Next thing you know, you've heard about the virus, then they're both being put in ICU. One's already lost his life and the other one's fighting for his. He was a great person. He lived a good life. We got a call from the uh, hospital that said they had a, their third patient from one of the nursing homes that, that came over that day with uh, respiratory issues and that we, we may have a problem and indeed we did quickly snowballed from there. The dramatic spike in cases in the weeks that followed. There are 12 residents. Um, there are 32 people. Led to dozens of infections and deaths at two Miami County facilities, Kester Pavilion near Troy and Springmead Health Center in Tip City, with another outbreak at Greenville Health and Rehabilitation Center in Dark County. Today, the loss for families spelled out in so many obituaries, hard to process. It's been very challenging, um, both you know professionally and emotionally. Health officials here in Ohio knew how catastrophic an outbreak at a nursing home could be. They had seen dozens die in Washington State, but despite that preparation, the I team found the very website the state says families should be able to rely on as they consider putting family members in nursing homes has discrepancies. The data we found the state is showing does not tell the whole story. Uh, if you're thinking about uh, taking a loved one or if you're thinking about going to a nursing home, you have every right to know what the situation is there. And so we want to make sure that you have all that information. The governor is talking about the state's COVID-19 webpage. Part of it tracks nursing and assisted living home cases and deaths. But look at the Miami Valley's hardest hit home, Miami County's Kester Pavilion. Just a couple cases listed, despite local health department data obtained by the I-Team showing 61 staff and patient infections and 74 more probable ones. No listing for Springmead Health Center, where county data released to the I-Team shows 35 resident and staff confirmed cases and 58 more probable ones. And between the Miami County facilities, that data shows 20 confirmed COVID related deaths versus the three Miami County deaths the state page showed. I took that discrepancy to the Ohio Department of Health. A spokesperson there said the state only started recording data as of April 15th, but most of the Miami County cases happened before that date. And when it comes to those earlier cases, the state told the I team, we don't have a mechanism right now, nor do we plan to go back at this time to look at prior data. We will never know if we had accurate data before April 15th. That means while cases like Earl Bollinger's factor into the state's COVID-19 case total, it does not show up on the state nursing home webpage. Everybody is learning, even the experts are learning. The executive director of the organization advocating for the nursing home industry says even though the state's page does not tell the whole story, it should not have an effect on patient care since Pete Van Runkle says each facility keeps records of their patients saying they know who has recovered. The I team found that to be true when we called Greenville Health and Rehabilitation in Dark County where the state lists 30 total COVID cases, but the nursing home's spokesperson telling us it's actually had 75 staff and patient cases with 20 deaths. The state only shows four deaths. The same goes for Premier Health, which operates the two Miami County homes. A spokesperson told the I-Team it's been in frequent communication with Miami County Public Health, adding that department has a full accounting of these cases, including those that were confirmed or suspected prior to April 15th. Well, it really is a struggle every day because we've had to you know, lock down facilities. If we're A struggle Pete Van Runkle thinks could be controlled through better testing, echoing Vice President Mike Pence 
And Dr. Deborah Burks, the coronavirus task force leader, said Monday they want all the country's nursing home patients and staff tested. We need testing so that we know who's positive. That then dictates the steps that we take to, to protect those folks that are negative. It's very scary. It's um, very emotional. Even for relatives of those COVID negative patients, it's been a difficult few months. Amy Litko, whose dad is living at Kester, feels left in the dark. Um, it's every day, symptom checking, and it's hard um, because you don't want to scare them. Unable to visit her father, she was recently relieved when a nurse sent her this photo of him holding a sign saying, I'm doing okay. Thanks for all the snacks. I love you. That short message only fueling her hope to see him someday soon. It's just going to be the best thing ever. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be everything. I just can't wait to feel him and touch him and hug him and maybe kidnap him and bring him back here because I don't, <laughs> I don't want to ever let him go. An urge to see relatives felt by so many families right now after COVID-19 spread so quickly through places, home, to the people they love. People like Earl Bollinger, whose story of those we've lost is like so many others during this most uncertain time. For the I-Team, Sean Cudahy, News Center 7. And again, those numbers Sean reported on have just been updated, but still, 53 Kester Pavilion cases are not reported. We will link you to the state page on the I-Team section of WHIO.com. The I-Team is still waiting on Governor DeWine's office to respond. After finding local nursing homes say they have complete numbers before April 15th, but a Department of Health spokesperson said there are still no update plans because in their view that would create inconsistent information. You can read full statements from the Department of Health along with Premier Health on WHIO.com and while there our experts full perspective on nursing home testing. You can also watch Sean's full interview with that expert on WHIO TV now. That streaming app is a free download on your Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV and Smart TV devices.